A gunman accused of shooting a CHP officer during a traffic stop is now in custody following an overnight manhunt. The officer suffered critical wounds in last night's shooting and remains hospitalized. KTLA's Christina Pascucci is live in Van Nuys with more about the suspect and how he was caught. Christina. Hi, Jer. Hi, Pedro. Well, that suspect was actually found in this homeless encampment behind us where you see the brown tarp right there is where he was discovered. And as you're about to hear, he actually knew one of the people who stays here where he was hiding. We're also hearing that the injury he had on his hand was key in police finding him. No answer at the Van Nuys apartment where an alleged police shooting suspect, 33-year-old PJ Page Moncoster body, lived with his roommate. But a bloodstained doorknob and spattered blood along the walls and hallway may have been the key to this LAPD canine tracking PJ down at a homeless encampment 0.3 miles away near Gloria and Cantley on Tuesday morning. Suspect Mr. Rosati had an injury. So I'm assuming since he's a bloodhound, he, he tracked him down. Her name is Piper. She's a hero for me. Once Piper started barking, it's like hands full in, the officers went in there. Alan, one of the men who stays in this tent, told us the suspect yeah. is his high school friend, an Afghanistan war veteran going through hard times. He was grieving. Uh, he lost two of his two of his really good friends that he served with in, in, in war. His friends died from uh, suicide last week. I, I couldn't believe he shot like an officer. It all started Monday night, about 10 minutes drive away in Studio City, when a CHP officer tried pulling PJ over on Laurel Canyon Boulevard near the 101. But instead, PJ pulled into a parking lot at a private school. Um, they said through the speaker, pull over, pull over. Um, there was an altercation um, during a traffic stop. Mr. Rosrati then um, supplied a weapon where he shot our officer multiple times. I heard from my home like about eight gunshots. There were helicopters looking, police were searching for a suspect. Using the plates on PJ's white car, they tracked him to this Van Nuys apartment. And the cops came banging on the door, asking if there's anyone else inside. You could hear helicopters all night. After learning he was caught Tuesday morning, PJ's neighbors said they were surprised. A nice, normal guy, you know what I'm saying, a veteran from Oregon. As for the injured CHP officer, a 27-year-old with about a year on the job, he is expected to recover. Our officer right now is in critical and stable condition, so he's doing well. Christina, can you tell us a little bit more about the bloodhound involved? Yeah, that dog which works with the LAPD, she's four years old, being hailed a hero, as you heard some of the neighbors here say. And uh, also, as you heard, her name is Piper. And what's really cool about her is she not only assists in situations like this, looking for a shooting suspect, but she also helps to find missing kids and patients who suffer with dementia. So doing a lot of good in our community. And her handler, who we also interviewed earlier today, said that she is going to be rewarded tonight with a big cheeseburger.